In Salem, the Willamette is finally receding, and as some people are making the most of the flooding, others, the cleanup is really tough. Fox 12's Bonnie Silkman is continuing our flood coverage tonight. She joins us now live in Salem at Wallace Marine Park. Bonnie? Liz, good evening. Most of this park is underwater right now. This is the, actually the highest I've seen the water levels out here. If we pan down at my feet, you can see this road just completely disappears underwater along with the rest of the soccer fields out here. A pretty unusual sight. The locals were really loving this, taking full advantage. Some people even paddle boarding across the water out here today. But for others who are homeless, they say this is devastating. An encampment nearby, they say, is now underwater and it washed away everything that they own. This is just super bizarre. I was shocked when I came down here. It's not exactly the park they're used to. We just wanted to check this out. But these now flooded fields and underwater roads are getting a lot of attention. We spotted this photo shoot on a tree now surrounded by water. I thought it would look cool. <laughs> and then there's this guy. A paddle boarder in the park. Cruising past speed signs and sailing through Salem. I just wanted to be able to say that I that I paddle boarded where my son was supposed to have soccer practice yesterday. Uh, there you go. Some people are having a lot of fun here at Wallace Marine Park, but for others left out in the rain, this flooding is devastating. Everything I own is gone. It's got flooded. Rob is just one of possibly hundreds who just lost everything they own. Knowing that I have lost it all, it, it, it hurts. Their large encampment near the park is now mostly underwater. I was able to salvage what I could fit in two backpacks. Uh, yeah, I was wading, wading through like waist deep water. Some people were crying, some people were mad. Fire crews at one point taking out their raft, rescuing a few campers. The water just kept getting higher and higher. And now many who've lived out there for years are just trying to figure out what comes next. Not having anywhere to go to stay and not having anywhere set up for us for this kind of situation just sucks. Now, that man you saw paddle boarding, he was little worried that he would get a ticket. I did ask Salem police about that, and they said, no, he won't be ticketed. Some people who drive past the gate, the closed gate, they will be facing a fine if caught. But Salem police say it's not a good idea to get under this water. We really don't know exactly what's in this water. Meanwhile, the city of Salem says the river reached nearly 27 feet today, but it will be receding over the next few days. So that's good news. For now, reporting live in Salem, Bonnie Silkman, Fox 12 Oregon.